Thanks for joining me again as we talk about prayer. I'm doing a series of little clips um, of informative information that hopefully will bless you and uh, give you guidance in some way. Um, I'd like you to know, I've been reading a few different things, and I'd like to share with you some of the things that I have read. We do not learn how to pray simply by becoming a Christian or going to church, even if we've been attending church for many years, we learn to pray more and more effectively over time and as we develop a personal relationship with God. So it's very important for a lot of us to realize that over time and over time as we, you know, begin to know God and as we grow deeper um, into a relationship with him, that we begin to know who he is and as he reveals himself to us we start to understand him and it is through all these you know revelations and getting to know who he really is that God is able to teach us many things and one of those things is prayer because God does indeed teach us to pray so um, you know you can't just become a Christian one day and hey all of a sudden you know how to pray Rome wasn't built in a day. It really does take some time, and it takes it takes effort, because you've got to know who who God is. You you know you really have to have that desire in your heart to know who He is, who you're praying to. If you're going to be praying to someone, I mean, you ought to know who you're praying to. I mean, who who is God? Who is He? And so, as you develop that wonderful relationship with the Father, He uh, He can teach us so many things that's so wonderful. Uh, our personal faith in God and our personal relationship with Him absolutely, yes, directly affects the quality and effectiveness of our prayer. And that is so true. Um, I'd like to share a few points with you of, uh, of a few things that I've read. If you are frustrated in your prayer life and wondering whether your prayers are really effective, then cry out from your heart, Lord, teach me to pray. And that's something, you know, when you when you cry out to God and you say, Lord, please, I mean, teach me to pray. Teach me to pray because uh, I want to be able to talk to you. And, you know, the Lord will answer you. So I challenge you on that one. And uh, certainly you can comment back and let me know what has indeed happened. Uh, the depth and strength of our prayer lives relate directly to the depth and strength of our personal relationship with God. You know, because the more you know who God is, you're going to find that your prayers are just going to be different. They're going to be different. If you can think back of when you first became a Christian and up to this point right now, and, you know, through your whole journey of your Christian life, think back. I mean, your prayers were not anything like they are now. I mean, praise the Lord, you know, I mean, we ought to grow in our Christian walk. And so our prayers ought to grow and our prayers ought to change throughout time as well. And if they're not, then, you know, I mean, you ought to examine yourselves, you know, uh, daily, as the scripture says, work out your salvation daily. We must always examine ourselves to see where we are in God, you know, because if we're really staying in the same place um, and we're not growing and we're just being stagnant, there's something wrong there. You know, and, and we really need to, to, you know, ask God to, to help us to, to change that if that's happening in our lives. Prayer is simple. It is, it, it, is, it is talking to the Father and it is listening as well. I've certainly learned in my prayer life that I ought to listen because I could just talk, talk, talk. And, you know, God perhaps really wants to reveal something to me, to me or to talk to me and I mean if you're in a relationship and you're doing all the talking I mean it's not going to work out right you got to have some time to listen too so I've learned that myself as well in teaching us to pray God deals with us as individuals with unique personalities diverse temperaments and different ways of communicating so we really need to be careful not to compare ourselves with others and to just be ourselves and let him teach us how to pray and I'm really not going to say anything about that because that whole little paragraph just talks for itself. <laughs> so, but it, it is absolutely true. Uh, developing a great friendship with God takes time and energy, but it it is the best 
I mean, it is the best investment of time and energy that you will ever make. Um, wow, God is, God is so good. You know what? Prayer is the greatest privilege. It is not something we have to do. It is something that we get to do. You know, it is such a privilege to be able to go to the Father in prayer. I mean, He is so accessible. He is so accessible all the time. You know, it's a wonder that, you know, we as Christians don't go to Him more often. He is there all the time. I mean, all the time. And I think we really ought to talk to our Father more than, than we do. So I want to encourage you today with the uh, little uh, excerpts that I've read. And, uh, you know, I really, I really pray that you would really look at yourself as an individual and, you know, not compare yourself to, to anyone else in that aspect. But really, you know, God has made you special. And as you develop that wonderful relationship with him, he will teach you the many things that you have to learn. So I think... Um, I think it's wonderful that we're doing this study because it really does. I think God is going to reveal a lot of stuff to us through this, through talking about prayer, because really um, prayer is talking to the Father and listening. So I pray that uh, this video has surely blessed you and, you know, edified you concerning prayer. Thank you.